the most dangerous driving situations to navigate is crossing a rural four-lane divided road from a side street. Traffic and speeds on these highways are high. The driver must gauge the speed and distance of oncoming traffic and choose a safe gap. The most common type of crash that occurs at this type of intersection is a broadside crash, when a vehicle stopped on the side street tries to cross the road or make a left turn. The vehicle on the side street pulls out in front of a vehicle on the main road and is hit broadside by a vehicle on the main road. These high-speed crashes often happen on the far side of the intersection and are some of the most severe crashes that occur on our roads. The reduced conflict intersection addresses this problem. A reduced conflict intersection consists of raised islands to channelize traffic, special left turn lanes to improve sight lines, U-turns can be constructed on each side of the intersection. At a reduced conflict intersection, all turns from the main road are unchanged, as illustrated here by the red car. Drivers can still turn right onto the side street. And they can still turn left. Drivers who want to make a left from the side street will turn right onto the main road, merge to the left, and make a U-turn. Drivers follow a similar path to cross from one side of the street to the other. A national study sponsored by the Federal Highway Administration evaluated nine reduced conflict intersections in Maryland. At these locations, fatal crashes decreased by 70%. Injury crashes decreased by 42%. But I know there haven't been any fatalities, there haven't been any serious accidents since the intersection has been redone. I would not be afraid to construct another intersection like this. So. Reduced conflict intersections are safer because they reduce conflict points. A conflict point is where two vehicles cross paths. A standard four-lane divided intersection has 24 crossing conflict points, which pose the greatest safety risk. A reduced conflict intersection reduces crossing conflict points to four. After seeing the design, I thought it'll never work. As I used it, I thought, you know, boy, was I wrong. Uh, I've been told that uh, it's been accident-free since it's been opened uh, about a year ago. And this has proven that uh, it is a safe design and one that should be implemented in the corners that are suffering with high fatalities or high accident rates. The reduced conflict intersection works well for reducing crashes and increasing safety. However, some concerns have been raised. One of these is response time for emergency personnel. At the Wilmer location, the County Law Enforcement Center is adjacent to the reduced conflict intersection. I think uh, the intersection overall works well. Uh, there is, I think initially, when, when it first, first is used, there's some confusion because there is a lot going on there. But as soon as people get the process down, the routes down, it works great. Law enforcement's not impeded at all by responding to uh, emergency calls. Another concern is large vehicles like trucks and buses. The U-turns are designed to accommodate large vehicles. At standard intersections, most medians are not wide enough to store these large vehicles, forcing them to find a safe gap from both directions. 
Eliminating this difficult maneuver is another benefit of the reduced conflict design. If I'm going to make a left turn, I have to look at to my left. I deal with two lanes of traffic going one direction, and they're right outside my driver's door. When I make that turn, I'm dealing with two lanes of traffic, only two lanes of traffic, and they're going the same direction, and they're right out my windshield. And to me, that the, con the, the conflict of traffic is so much simpler and safer. As a professional driver with a truck like I drive, a 53-foot trailer, and a lot of these intersections, the old at-grade crossings, uh, I have to sit there and wait for traffic to clear from both directions because there's not room for me in the middle a lot of times. Uh, even if there is room in the middle, once I make that commitment, then it's very treacherous for me if there's any traffic coming at all. It's simple. If there's no, there's no one around, they work great. But uh, for me, the, the old traditional crossings, uh, you're dealing with, if you're going to make a left turn, you're dealing with a minimum of four lanes of traffic going in two different directions. A little bit of inconvenience you feel when you have to go a quarter mile and turn and come back. Uh, when you're returning to that address, there's no inconvenience. So. It's a small price to pay, I think, for uh, the tremendous amount of safety. It, it increases safety so much on these crossings. I think it's a very small part price to pay myself. National studies, as well as Minnesota's experience, demonstrate that reduced conflict intersections reduce severe crashes. And because they are less costly and quicker to construct than interchanges, safety problems can be addressed sooner and at more locations. Reduced conflict intersections are a safer solution.